This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses and a quick tip on my dry rub. Now, of course, I have a lot of different dry rubs and dry rub recipes that I use for specific things, but every day you always have an all-purpose rub that you might make small alterations to it. I call mine 3211 and I'm ready to make a little bit more. So you see that I'm almost just about out here. So what we'll do is first, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up and leave it like that for a minute, no big deal. The reason it's called 3211 is because we start with three portions of pepper, two portions of garlic, one smoked paprika, and one either smoked salt or kosher salt. Today, I'm gonna to use kosher salt because it's something that you can always get, but I also make smoked salt a few times a year out of kosher salt which helps add a deeper smoke flavor to your food, especially if you're cooking on something like a pellet grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this and, and check it out. Now that we have it all in a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little swirl. It doesn't need to be mixed very well because we're putting it in a large container. Now I use the bowl that has a little tapered edge so it works really good to load into my container. But if you don't, a funnel works really good. And uh, if you use a small funnel, you'll have to use a toothpick or something to poke it through. I always use recycled containers. If you see these containers, work really good. Now you can buy containers on Amazon or whatever, and I'll try to find one and put a link for you down there. Also in the links below will be all of the bulk containers for these items that I have here. And uh, they're really not very expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the first few scoops in here. Of course, you could use a smaller container. You see how low that is there. But the reason I do this is so I can go just like that. And now we're all mixed. Every time before I use this, I will give it a little shake and then we'll be completely mixed. The problem is, is that the lighter stuff will come to the top and the heavier stuff will sink to the bottom just naturally, um, kind of a gravity effect through time. So you wanna give it that little shake each time. If you want more recipes, or if you just want to look at this one in writing, the first link below will be to my article, Beef Dry Rubs, which contains this recipe. I also have a pork dry rub article that I'll include there. And the links for all these items will be down below in the lower description. Those are affiliate links. I will get compensated for those, so I appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day.